Welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to share with you case 3 okay so basically in these days I am talking about linear differential equation of nth order so case 3 is this like x1 is equal to a plus ib and x2 is equal to a minus ib if this is the case so if you are not if you haven't watched my previous videos then probably you miss something so let me share with you in short what is x1 and what is x2 suppose that we find out uh, from auxiliary equation we find out d is equal to a plus iv and a minus iv so basically today in this case we are talking about if we got imaginary imaginary roots then what to do so here x1 is this and x2 is equal to this that's why I have written already x1 is this and x2 is this if we got this type of equation then how to find out general solution as in this case I have taken an example which already asked in gate previous year that's why you will understand the basic as well as you will come to know how to solve mathematical problems to add those question asked in gate previous year related to the same topic that is my main motto to make you understand the topic as well as to make you understand how to solve the problem which problem already asking gate that's why you can do much better in the upcoming examination all right sounds cool and clear okay so let's go for it so for general solution gen general solution general solution or you may say complete solution for this kind of case we can write y is equal to e to the power a x multiple c1 cos b x plus c2 sin b x close and you can go for c3 and c4 and all those but yes i'm not going for beyond this because i have seen question they have passed in this only c1 and c2 because they don't want you to become scientists they want you to test yes what i am sharing based on this concept we can solve the problem which has been asked in gate previous year that's why i'm sharing with you in this video tutorial so what are you waiting for basically i hope you understand the basic concept how to write so here what is a basically this one is a where it is b b is here so what we have to do we have to match this equation i mean this thing in the problem only and we have to practice little bit that's why we can do much better uh, in the examination right so let's go for that uh, uh, that problem which has been asked in gate previous year so are you ready i hope you are ready so let's go for it i am waiting right yeah so this is the question this question i can i hope you can read this question right so in this question we have even find general solution of differential equation d2y dx square plus y equal to zero so we have to find out what general solution of differential equation right so how to find out general solution that is important isn't it so let's go for it so uh, we can write this equation as auxiliary equation how we can write this that d2 plus 1 is equal to 0 right d square plus 1 equal to 0 this is simple if you haven't watched my previous tutorial related to differential equation i mean linear differential equation of nth order i will recommend you watch those cases because this is case number three so i have already created created two more videos related to case one and related to case two and of course there is one other uh, another remaining case is there that is case number four i will definitely share with you that case also that's why it would be uh, complete for you that yeah any question will come almost any question will any uh, come will come in the examination you can solve it right so what is it d square is equal to minus one we can write and d is equal to root under minus one root under minus one means it is an imaginary term because we know that iota is equal to root under minus one so we can write this as like this plus minus iota and we can again write this to make this form which form i have already shared with you a plus i b right so we can write this zero plus minus i b i not b is b is one here right so what we can write here zero plus minus i 
sorry 0 plus i and 0 minus i so we got x1 is this and x2 is this right isn't it it's really simple right now what we have to do we have to do uh, we have to do one thing that is we have to write the general solution for this case what is the general solution we have to do that okay so i have already shared with you what is the general solution that is a only what we have to do first we have to write this equation then we have to put according to the values we have given or we have find out from the problem that is important isn't it so let's go for it first of all write the equation that is here only we got it here y is equal to e to the power ax c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx once we have written this equation then our almost job done what we have to do in place of a what we got a is equal to 0 here b is equal to 1 here simple a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 so what we can do a 0 x 0 c1 cos b plus c2 c2 sin b got it now e to the power 0 e to the power 0 is equal to 1 because any constant power is 0 is 1 how already I have shared with you several times well if you are watching first time my video then probably you don't know how to find out this and why why e to the power 0 is equal to 1 or any constant suppose that a to the power 0 is equal to 1 even 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1 why it is happening why 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 that is the important so I am going to share with you definitely I will share with you in this video total only that's why we will need you don't need to find out any other totals even my total just get it in this total only okay I am talking a little bit too much okay no problem that's because of you only so uh, we can write this e to the power 0 is equal to 1 minus 1 right so is equal to e to the power 1 e to the power minus 1 because in the power we do addition okay so from this we can write this one also so e to the power 1 means e and e to the power minus 1 means reciprocal of it so e e cancel so what we got 1 that's why i am talking about any constant power equal to 0 the same thing you can implement for anything just like a to the power 0 equal to 1 a minus 1 minus 1 just like 2 to the power 0 equal to 1 2 minus 1 minus 1 therefore 2 by 2 is equal to 1 so this can be applicable to anything which is constant all right so <clears throat> let's go for let's come back to here so we can put here one so one means we can write this like cos b plus c2 sine b right so this is this is it now uh, now look at the option we have given so what they have given y is equal to sin x uh, yeah b is equal to 1 so i should write x right yeah x so sin x they have said but we got 2 cos x and sin x so this is a wrong answer now p q okay no problem sin x this is wrong answer so here the, what they said p and q that means they are saying c1 is equal to p they have considered and c2 is equal to q i mean c1 and c2 what constant the, what type of constant these are arbitrary constant so we can write in place of c1 as p p cos x plus c2 in place of c2 we can write q that is sin x so y is equal to p cos x plus q sin x okay yeah you can read it right so this is the question this question already asked in gate 2008 okay so that's why i have shared with you and uh, this is a question of gate so this question are short definitely but you need to know the exact way to solve it otherwise you cannot solve it right uh, right away i mean we cannot maintain accuracy okay that is a different thing so let's come back to the topic first and uh, we'll talk till we wait one or two minutes in short and we'll just finish finish the total okay so what we have is stated in this total that is linear differential equation of nth order and which case i am talking about in this video total that is case three so what is about it that if we act, we consider x1 is equal to a plus ib and x2 is equal to a minus ib how because these are imaginary roots okay so but these uh, these values are not same these values are different so this is a different case than other right therefore general solution is for this case is equal to a to e to the power ax bracket open c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx this is it so this is all about the nth order uh, for linear differential equation in case of imaginary roots but roots are not equal i mean both the values are different because there is a case 
when both the values are same what will happen in that case i will share with you in the my next tutorial so till that time thanks for watching thank you very much wait for that tutorial and if you are watching now you can check that uh, fourth uh, part because probably you're watching in the later so we definitely will get that part also case fourth right so this is all about it thanks for watching and if you like the total share this thing with uh, with your friends on whatsapp facebook anywhere you wanted to share and one more thing if you haven't subscribed my channel till now subscribe it now and get all your video all your videos on your uh, dashboard only thanks for watching thank you very much bye bye